The crazy thing is, my motherfuckers running their mouth. Talking about Nia said this, Nia said that. You know I ain't gonna say no names. I'm good with not saying no names. But the only one motherfucker that's saying some positive shit is Toya. Like, nah, Frankie, Nia wanna, is you cool with a sit down and talk to Nia and this and that? Look at Robbie looking all grown and shit. That shit just shocks me every time I see Robbie ass. But, um, <clears throat> is you cool with a sit down so y'all can talk and this and that, whoopie whoop, like, like, I don't have no problem with that. Like, she says she miss you. She really do love you. So it's like, okay, you got her saying this. Then she's the only person that's saying this. You feel me? And then you got four or five other motherfuckers saying, oh, yeah, she was talking about you. Nigga, she said you ain't shit the whole time y'all was together. If the whole time we was together, I wasn't shit, then why the fuck she didn't? Why, why she ain't break up with me? Right. That's my whole thing, like, you know, like, what the fuck? And then I'm thinking, and it's and it's like, and I told Toya, it's like, it's the way she acts, it's the way she moves that makes me not believe you. Like, it's hard to believe. She's like, Frankie, Frankie, I'm telling you the truth. Because, you know, me, me and Toya talked the other day or whatnot. I pulled up. Yeah, yeah, I pulled up on to give her uh, Nia mail because Nia had a package. That UPS package and shit, and um, it was a bag of clothes on the porch from me separating our clothes and shit out that tote. So I was like, let me just grab this and shit, because that was the only space I had in the trunk for one bag. But it's like two more bags or something like that on the back porch or whatnot. And she just got some more mail yesterday, so I don't know, I might pull up on Toya probably tomorrow or Tuesday. And drop the mother two bags off to her or whatnot and uh, bring her this mail. But um, yeah, like... It's just weird that she's the only person that's saying that. And you got all these other motherfuckers saying something totally different that's negative. You feel me? Like, and then it's the way, and then you got to look at the way that, that Nia moves. So it leaves me no choice but to believe these motherfuckers that's saying all this bullshit. You feel me? And I, and I told to you that before, though. Like, just the way she moves. The way she acts. Like... Just like, okay, I put up a video. That's why I asked you if you see that video. I put up a video when now motherfuckers gonna call me yesterday talking about, uh, last night talking about, yeah, I seen your video you put up. I'm like, which one? Yeah, well, uh, uh, you know, uh, the graduation is on the 30th. Bitch, I said I don't want to hear nothing else about Ania or anything. Like, I don't want to hear nothing else about it. So, what is y'all not understanding? Why would you call me? And tell me that the graduation is on the 30th. Like, you didn't get the whole point of the fucking video? Motherfuckers is retarded. Well, if you just think the video, Juice, you'll be dying laughing right now. Nothing, <laughs> You stupid. You always want to <laughs> You always want to nigga to snap. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> oh, man, you funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even snap. Not for real. Like I was, I was just on some for real shit. Like my motherfuckers always used to be being silly and shit. Like that's not even me. Like I just play that role because that's what motherfuckers. Well, I be trying to have fun. I be trying to brighten the day, but I'm really actually quiet. I sound like saying to myself, like I be serious as fucking shit. Like even Kaya said that she like, what the fuck is so funny? She was like, you never used to be like this back in the day. You used to be so serious. Like, you would crack a joke and still be so serious. She was like, nah, your ass is motherfucking laughing all the time. Hey, shit, because I be trying to brighten up everybody else's day, but, you know, I always get slapped in the face with some bullshit anyway, so. But, like, I was just, I was just serious. I was saying some for real shit, like, because I'm tired of hearing, like, some bullshit. Like, you know, I hear this one, this one good thing or whatnot, you feel me? And then here comes some, some bullshit. A couple days later, right behind it, like, I'm so confused, like, y'all please just leave me the fuck alone and it's like, stop talking to me about Nia, like, it's not hard, <laughs> it's not, like, what the fuck, you motherfuckers have no life, motherfuckers really have no life to sit here and be like, I'm gonna wait till I see Frankie, or I'm gonna call Frankie and tell her, um, what I just heard about, uh, her and Nia and shit, or what Nia just said, like, I mean, you have no life, because that wouldn't even cross my mind to just call somebody be like, oh, yeah, you know your bitch said this, woo 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 You feel me? Like, it'll take me some days, like, oh, yeah, I forgot. You feel me? But I ain't even about to bring it up. <laughs> you know? Like, what the fuck? 
That shit. Like, you think y'all like that bullshit? Motherfuckers do like that bullshit. And and I didn't told Neil, I don't know how many times, even Toya didn't told her, like, stop telling your business to everybody. That's nobody's business. And then Toya said to me, she was like, you, Frankie, gotta stop putting shit up on face on, on YouTube. Look, <clears throat> the more shit, I can put whatever I want to put up on YouTube. You feel me? Like, literally, I, I can. I can put whatever I want to put up on YouTube. You can't nobody stop me from doing that. So it's like, you keep talking bad about me or whatnot. What you want me to just sit here and, and let you throw my name in the dirt and got people looking at me sideways because you want to lie because you feel some type of way? Like, no, get the fuck out of here. Stay off the drugs. How about that? You feel me? Just lay the fuck off the drugs and you wouldn't have a problem. Go get the medication that you need, to, that you're supposed to have or whatnot so you can get better. So you can stop this shit. Like, just playing the victim shit. I don't know who told you that shit was cool. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's not sexy. It's not none of that shit. This shit is actually pathetic. It's, just, it's fucking disgusting. Like, stop this shit. Like, you trying to bring me down now. the only motherfucker that had your back for real. Like, 100%. Like, why are you trying to bring me down? Why are you trying to throw my name in the dirt? It got to the point that I don't even want to be, I don't even want to be close with her kids because she always throwing them up into some, in some shit. Like, why you always bringing your kids up in some shit? Ain't no way in the world my mama would have been like, yeah, my, me and my daughter's about to have you laying in your blood. My mama would have never said that to no motherfucking nigga. Period. And she definitely would have never put me up in some shit. She would never put my brothers up since you mentioned my, one of my mama's kids, nigga, and she calling her people. Nigga, and they gonna, you gonna disappear. They gonna get you together. They ain't come talk. I don't know what this talking shit is. Because that nigga done already been warned in 2020. What? So really, he was supposed to get handled. What was that, last week, two weeks ago, however long ago that shit was? He was really supposed to get handled. But now with Craig being the big brother or whatnot, the older brother, he like, no, I want to talk to this nigga. No, I, I'm like I said before. I'm not saving no more no more lives because I've already saved this motherfucking crackhead ass life once before. I'm not about to keep saving his cokehead ass life. I'm not about to keep doing that shit. You deserve to die anyway. Fuck out here, fucking crackhead. You deserve to die. That shit disgusting. <coughs> um. But yeah, I mean. I don't know, man. That shit retarded. Who buys this? Oh, that's the uh, um. It's crazy how they still coming back to you talking that bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Like, can y'all shut the fuck up, please? Like, leave me the fuck alone. It's hot than a bitch. That sun just beaming in all that fucking heat. Look at that challenger over there. Hot as fuck outside. I was out there not too long ago. Yeah, that motherfucker mm, sun. <laughs> yeah, that bitch beaming today. Shit. That bitch beaming today. Yeah, but I mean that's all uh when it came to that. You got the other scoop not too long ago with that. You ain't got this scoop. Uh if you go watch the video you'll find out that Joey actually loved me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hanging with Joey and his fucking friends and shit the other day. These motherfuckers was like, oh, your brother talks so much about you, hey, twin, nice to meet you. Because, you know, he called me twin and shit. So I'm looking like, <laughs> yeah, he talks so much about me. Oh, yeah, what he be saying about me? Yeah, he be trying to hold me down. They like, no, no, your brother love you. Your brother love you. Yo, you love me, what? <laughs> he talking about shit. He ain't them niggas talking about shit, you know, he's drunk and shit. Talking about shit. <laughs> like, motherfucker. Right. Nah, it's too late, Joey. You love me, Joey? Because I never thought that Joey could love anybody. <laughs> anybody. I don't even think... I, ne I don't think Joey loves my mom. Like, Joey don't love nobody. Because <laughs> Joey is... It's like, um... Like, how would... How, I, it's like, I can't explain Joey. Like, Joey is, like, dark. Like, if you... If you used to look in Joey's eyes, it'd be just like blank. It'd be dark. You feel me? Like I don't know. It's like it's like you can't explain. It's like it's just dark there. Like Joey just in the world that's nothing but darkness. And yeah, if he 
it's like nobody, nobody matters to him. You feel me? So it's like all the people that's in the world, they're just blank to him until he finds an enemy. Then you got this one enemy person that has no face. <laughs> you feel me? And he attacks and shit. That's, that's, that's the best way I could explain Joey. If I was in Joey's mind, that's what it would look like in my mind. If I could draw this shit out or make a video of it, I would. So everybody could get a clue of how I feel Joey is or whatnot. Joey's dark. He's like, like, and when he get mad, you can see that shit in his eyes. Like, this nigga, <laughs> he done blanked out. I see the darkness in his eyes. It's coming out even more now. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck Joey's a dark person so it's like just knowing that he loves me and shit like yeah, your brother love you I'm looking like wow this is crazy I didn't think Joey could love anybody <laughs> let alone me because we used to fight all the like every day we used to fight like it got to a point to where my mom moved my room downstairs and shit because we used to fight because our rooms used to be right next to each other and shit upstairs and shit like my mom moved my room like, I had to switch my rooms and shit. Like, I took Craig room because she had put Craig out anyway. So, I took Craig room. Craig room was right up under my room and shit. So, now my room is downstairs on the first floor and shit. Or whatnot. And Stevie came up from the basement and shit. He took my old room or whatnot. So, it's like, that's how much we used to fight. <laughs> you feel me? Like, <laughs> she had to switch rooms and shit. Like, why I got to switch my room? I was like, you know what? I don't care. I like being downstairs anyway. So, I switched my room. Or whatnot. Like, that's how much. Shit. Papa was just pulled up next to me. I should take off in their car. That'd be the most radical thing ever. <laughs> I should take this fucking car. They should be leaving their shit running. Yeah, they should be leaving their shit running. I should really take their shit. <coughs> Park that bitch around the corner. <laughs> Come back to my car and dip. I had to see man. <laughs> nah, no, because yeah. nah, because you know most snitching ass. I'm gonna put at the gas station still. Most snitching ass. He got the green lights and shit up here and whatnot. I'm not gonna tell. Then he gonna try to play cool like Frankie. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> Cause it was funny. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, you don't feel that. <laughs> He outside right now, too. Talking to Robbie. But it's switching ass. Moby switching like a motherfucker. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> we got old Mo nerd so bad one day, bro. <laughs> this nigga Mo. I don't know. I guess it was just mostly me. We was holding that nigga, me and Dante. <laughs> I'm like, come on. We about to follow Mo around this year. Just get on his nerves. He like, oh my gosh, Frankie. You getting on my fucking nerves right now. <laughs> I'm dying laughing and shit. I'm like... I make oh my gosh mo you're getting on my fucking nerves right now. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga Dante dying laughing and shit. And he's like, I swear to fucking God I'm gonna punch you. And then I was like, I swear to fucking God I'm gonna punch you. And Dante was like, and as soon as you punch my cousin, I'm punching your fucking lights out. <laughs> we started laughing and shit. Mo just shook his head. <laughs> we was really getting on that nigga nerves that day, like literally. I'm like, come on. I'm like, come on, Dante, we about to leave this nigga alone. He's like, yes, leave me alone. Go find something to do. Yes, you go find something to do. <laughs> head ass nigga. <laughs> you gon' find something, nigga. Why don't you go home, nigga? You be up here fucking with people, but can't nobody fuck with you? Hey, Mo. <laughs> like, that nigga was... <laughs> This bitch ass nigga, he always up here and don't, he don't need to be up here, like, this nigga just be up here, and everybody tell him that shit, they be so sick about, like, whatever. Motherfucker, like, Mo said do this. Oh, oh, okay. Don't nobody listen to Mo, though. He shit, don't nobody listen. Even Jacob tell you, like, yeah, we just say, okay, and then when he leave, we keep doing it the way we do it. <laughs> don't nobody listen to Mo. I was just getting on his nerves. that shit was fun, we ain't had nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I put a throwback Thursday up We gotta go see that shit Me and Tyna And Kasia came over a little bit She got mad at me because I was recording I used to hate when I record back in the day Like dang I need to be hating <laughs> Tyna talk about Get I it off of me that. You seen this <laughs> yeah, Get it off of me I put the camera on She's like get it off of me <laughs> 
<laughs> no, no, she didn't like being recorded because, because I was always going live and shit. That's what I told you. Like, I always was going live back in Pam, I tell you that shit. I was always going live. Like, I had niggas pull up to the subway up here a few nights and shit. We just be out here party. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, hey, because they just be watching my lives and shit. That shit is crazy and shit. Literally, I, I didn't have a damn subway party up here and shit. Pam, like, you gotta, I ain't mind. You go ahead, you can ask Pam. I'm gonna come get you one night. Just so you can ask Pam and shit. We gonna hang out in the parking lot. <laughs> I'm gonna go live, like, flashback. <laughs> shit. Yeah, have a party in the parking lot and shit. Get some drinks and shit. Turn up, the up in Subway, but I used to say, at one time it got so deep, I had to take that shit to the parking lot, like shit. <laughs> Fam <laughs> family tell you I had this motherfucking subway slapping with my life. Man, Instagram at that too. Like that shit used to be popping like a motherfucker. That's why they wanted to pay me. That's why I said like it ain't nothing for me to they already Facebook and Instagram hit me up, was like, Yeah shit, you only need this and that to get paid. And five hundred ain't shit. Five hundred views ain't shit. Oh, they said views. Yeah, that's all I need. Five hundred more views. And I'm almost at 500 subscribers on YouTube. Did you see that shit? At the end of the day, I'm sure I'll be at 200 subscribers. That shit is popping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, damn. I woke up one morning. My shit said, my shit was at 98. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, I said, I wouldn't be surprised at the end of the day, this bitch is 100 and something. At the end of the motherfucking day, when I got back on that bitch and looked at that motherfucker, was at 114 motherfucking subscribers. <laughs> this morning when I just looked at it, that bitch was at 197. So at the end of the day, I'll be at 200. I'm sure of it. It's crazy too, cause I was shocked. Like, why is my shit popping like this? Like, damn. I mean, I because you know why? I'm, because I be on people lives and shit. Like for some reason, this shit still won't let me go live. I'm like, why can't I go live? I'd rather go live than make videos. You feel me? Because. It's like, because the videos take up so much space in my phone, if I just go live and they get that shit straight right there raw or whatnot, then yeah, like, that shit not getting saved in my phone, so they ain't taking up no space, you feel me? So I'd rather just go fucking live. And I can react with people, people can comment, they can talk their shit, they can say whatever. I'm waiting on it, I, 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 you know, I love to talk shit to motherfuckers, that's why I be on other people's shit talking shit. People that made me, they, they uh, what you calling on that shit? My shit, my name be blue on people's shit, on some people's shit. Cause they made me, they minor, minor, um, what's that shit called? Minorizer, or whatever that shit is. Like, they done made me that shit on they, on they shit, like, that's why I said I was gonna make you a minds and shit, you feel me? Like, they, 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 little people, I be on that bitch talking shit, like, y'all niggas be, y'all niggas be on here talking all that shit, and then this one, oh, man, let me tell you, man, this other day, when I was hanging out with Joey and shit, Joey's like, why you in the car twin, because I'm doing this shit real quick, like, hold on, leave me alone, y'all irritating me now, like, motherfucker on there, um, this one dude in California and shit, he's really from Chicago, yeah, but he moved out to Cali, this nigga talking about he a billionaire and this and that, and that nigga be spazzing, I be like, this nigga need medication for real, for real and shit, but he like, he cool, <laughs> but other than that, he cool, you feel me, so I'm on his what? shit, so I'm like, it was my first time even coming across this shit, so I'm like, I'm like, what's up, he like, what's up, Bando Life, Bando Life said, what's up, y'all say, what's up, the Bando Life and shit, so you know, everybody was like, hey, Bando Life, this and that, so I'm like, where you from, or whatnot, then he like, where you from, Bando Life, and I was like, Detroit, and the motherfucker, before I even said Detroit, I seen a motherfucker talking about Bando Life from Iowa. I said, I, I said Detroit when I, and then I coming back to this shit. I'm like, I'm definitely not from no fucking Iowa. Motherfucker talking about you not from Detroit. Bitch, how the fuck you gonna tell me where I'm from? So that's how that shit started. So, um, so me and this guy, his, his name The Hire and shit on there. But I couldn't find his page, like The Hire, like what the fuck? So, um... Now I'm like, nigga, where you from? He talking about Detroit. I'm like, all right then, nigga, shut the fuck up. Stop talking to me, because there wasn't nobody even talking to you, bro. And he was like, just because, he was like, a lot of people say they from Detroit be, uh, because or 8 Mile because they seen the movie 8 Mile with Eminem in it. I'm like, first of all, I never said I was from 8 Mile. Nigga, never have I ever said I was from fucking 8 Mile and shit. I said, stop talking to me, bitch, while I pull up on your weak ass. And he talking about, I'm over here on Evergreen and such and such street or whatnot. I'm on the west side. Okay, yeah, nigga, and my people stay over there, nigga. Like, that's, that's one thing. You, know, you from the west side. I got more people on the west side than I do the east side. Like, stop playing with me. Nigga, I'll send some people over. He talking about, yeah, I'm at the uh, Marathon gas station with a red t-shirt on, this and that. 
Why would you tell me your location? And why would you tell me what you got on? Right. You didn't ask for it. Yeah, like, you stupid motherfucker. I'm like, stop talking to me, nigga. You can check my stat, bitch. Look my name up, bitch. You can check my stat, nigga. Nigga, anybody will tell you, nigga. That nigga, then the next day, I'm on the same cat. Or whatnot, that's in L and I'm in the same I'm on the same cat live and shit. We chit chatting on that bitch and whatnot, whoopie woo. Then here come the higher power. He got on that bitch and didn't say shit to me. I'm like, yeah, I thought so, you bitch ass nigga. You got the message, right? Exactly. Like I said, I got people all on the west side. I ain't gotta do nothing but make a phone call and say go over there and do this and do that. Shut the fuck up talking to me, bitch. Don't say another motherfucking word. There was no need for him to even say anything anyway, talking about and don't like from Iowa. Bitch, what? Why anyway. you say that? What I don't know. That's what I said. Like, why are you even talking? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Right, because I asked dude, I'm like, where you from? He said, Bando Life, where you're from. I was like, <clears throat> Detroit. Dude gonna say Bando Life from Iowa. Bitch, what? Iowa. Yeah, Motherfucker, yeah, like, right, like, what the fuck up talking to me, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck be wrong with people. I be trying to say chill and lay back. I don't do that street shit no more or whatnot. <clears throat> oh, that's some weird ass shit. It is, but motherfuckers just keep bringing me out of character. Like, okay, so y'all want to see the beast? Y'all want to see the monster in me, huh? Why y'all think I got that name, bro? Like, all right. It ain't because my mama used to call me Green Eye Monster. It ain't because my motherfucking cousin would call me Frankenstein, nigga. Nah, I'm a monster for a real reason, bitch. The motherfuckers just keep trying to bring me out that character, all right? So y'all want me to be a monster again, right? I'm gonna fuck up your city. Stop playing with me. Leave me the fuck alone, bitch. Shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Everybody going fishing. <laughs> I better not pull up on Joe. You gonna be like, you wanna go fishing? No, bitch, I don't wanna go fishing. <laughs> Definitely gonna say that. For real. <laughs> you wanna go fishing? No, I gotta wee whack my yard. You wanna come wee whack my yard? <laughs> Shit. Maybe we can go fishing if you wee whack my yard for me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in church right now. <laughs> Let me turn on church services. Because <laughs> Dirt Dad's not doing nothing. Dude, man, you gotta go get you a driver's license, dog, so you can do this transportation. Well, for, uh, for who? For driving. It's like, no. I'm making a video. I want everybody to know where I work at. You gotta, uh, I don't know, man. I gotta. Uh, you put in the job applications with security companies and shit? No, I ain't did that. Man, I think you should. Because you, you ain't got no driver's license, so you won't be able to come drive for trans. I mean, it's easy. Like, you be done in like four or five hours, and then you be like, they let you go home. Oh, and that's a security company? No, 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 no. Oh. No, nah, because nah, I noticed I noticed one security company and shit. That, uh, Cause I'm about to go get a job with them and shit. I'ma send you uh I got the application in the trunk with my paperwork and shit, but <clears throat> I'ma send you the security company uh uh number and shit. So you can call and they can uh see they're gonna tell you to come get an application, throw that shit out. Woo -woo. They're gonna be like they can mail you. They can mail you one out. They but they be like, uh, we suggest you come up here and get it or whatnot. Which is better. That just sound like some lazy style. Oh, you want me to mail your application? This motherfucker lazy. <laughs> That's a how it be, though. This motherfucker lazy. But <clears throat> yeah. They pay seventeen an hour. Uh, that's a good thing. That's a nice thing. Hell yeah. But I was like, say, if you could, if you had a driver's license, you drive, drive, you could do the transportation and shit. They pay the motherfucking 23 an hour and shit. And like, they don't even be needing me for the whole day. They still pay me for the whole day. 
Oh, that's what you've been doing? Yeah. Oh, that's what's up, that shit. I, I get there at motherfuckers 6 in the morning and shit. I drive, drop off motherfuckers, take them back up, drop off motherfuckers, pick more people up, drop them off and shit. And I be fucking done. Like, <laughs> I be fucking done and shit. Like, turn that shit in, take my motherfucking ass back to motherfucking home or do some door dash and shit like that. Like, I got the rest of the motherfucking day to myself. Shit, like, that's why I'm like, I'm about what? to find another job and shit. Cause it be, I be like, <laughs> Excuse me, I be like so bored and shit. But what not, doing nothing. On motherfucking YouTube, talking shit to people. That's online. a short job, though. That's like a half of the day job. Yeah, First but time. they still pay you for a whole yeah. day, though. Like, <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I clock in there, bitch. Like, I just be done. Like, I don't know, they still pay you for the whole Yeah. They probably send you to pick up your own type of people, your own people, own separate type of people they got to rest. Look, man, I'm supposed to clock out at 1 o'clock. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be done at 11. <laughs> I'll be done. That's why I said they still pay me for a whole day or whatnot. Like, I'll be done at motherfucking 11 o'clock, bro. 11.45, I, I turn they motherfucking vans back in. Boom. They was like, just put one o'clock down, put one o'clock down, bow, I'm out. <laughs> I signed that shit, bow, I'm out. <laughs> That's a lovely job right there. That's what I'm saying, like, I wish you had motherfucking driver's license and shit. That's what I said, like, I gotta buy everybody a, a car, a crib, and new phone. Everybody shit fucked up. But I'm going to have to buy you a moped or some shit because you ain't got a fucking driver's license, god damn it. No. <laughs> you can <laughs> fuck <laughs> up <laughs> this shit. Nigga. Damn. Something that's going to give you from one side to the other. <laughs> that part, like shit. Can't have you just out here with nothing. Like shit, got to get this motherfucking man a goddamn moped. Shit. <laughs> shit, man. Go get a driver's license. Don't worry about it. We still can put a pistol in that motherfucker. You got to lift the seat up. Put the pistol down right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. You can put, you can put a speaker in there. Take it that Fuck yeah. Shit, don't worry about it. We'll get you a nice little basket that locks up and everything. Put your <laughs> speaker box on that bitch. Got that bitch bumping. You ain't even got to worry about it. You throw your backpack in that bitch. Lock that motherfucking cage up. Bow. You know, run in and out the motherfucking <laughs> store and shit. Can't nobody take your shit. <laughs> man. Yeah, that shit bumping all the way from the west side to the east. <laughs> I always wanted one of them bitches, though. Hey, I had one when I was like 17, 16, 17. Them bitches get up. <laughs> that was everywhere on that bitch, man. I always wanted one of them bitches. It's all right. <laughs> And they got the one bitches. I gotta seen this one, <coughs> this one dude on YouTube and shit. Bam! Oh, they was about to hit each other. Who eight twelve nine twelve eight twelve? That's Courtney's birthday. They was about to hit each other. But uh, this is one cat on YouTube. That nigga got these mini motorcycles, but it don't look like a mini. But that bitch look like that bitch is. Is them bitches is clutch. I had to tell when I see that nigga, uh, one of his videos again, I'm gonna send you his shit or whatnot. But his bikes is so clutch because them bitches, like, you push a button and that bitch lower down to the ground and shit. When you get on that bitch, you start that motherfucker up, you push the button, that bitch will raise back up. I'm looking like, oh, his bikes is hard as fuck, and the rims is different. Like, this shit's sweet as fuck. I'm looking like, bro, where he getting these? Is he is he building these bikes or some shit? Like, where he getting these bitches from? Like, I already know. It's some, the bitches. Man, he, he probably is. in motherfucking California. That's where everybody always at. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's where you get all that good shit, baby. Man, out there. because you should have seen the, um, the bike shop in Vegas where I got my dirt bike at and shit or whatnot. They had, they was trying to sell me a motorcycle, but I'm like, I ain't never rode no motorcycle before. So, and that bitch wasn't even much. It was like eight, it was like eight bands and shit. Like, I could have brought that shit, but, yeah, I could have brought that shit, but I'm like, nah, because I ain't never rode. Casey was like, 
Go get it. I'm looking like, hell no, I'm not going to get it because I was, that bitch was hard. The bike was hard as fuck. And I'm like, I ain't never rode no bike before. And I already know my mama and them, they going to be talking shit like, where you going to put that bike at? You can't put it in the garage. They're going to be talking shit. So I'm looking like, I'm not going to even get it. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know who this is texting me on a Sunday. <laughs> but, um. Uh, then that bitch big too. That's a big one. Bro. Exactly. That's what I'm. That bitch is bigger than my dirt bike. So. Oh, this is the church. Sweet. So Monday, I got to go, tomorrow, I got to go to the church. <laughs> they talk about the pastor requested it. <laughs> no, they just, they just hate me, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it when people hate me, dudes. You just don't understand. I get a kick out that shit. I love when people hate me. Man. <laughs> they talk about the pastor requested I know. Hey, hold on. That's just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> hey, see, here go. And they got these little fucking, um, like these mini mopeds. Two of them just roll past. Them bitches is hard. Like, that's what we got to get. I got to get everybody some of them bitches, though. Like, because we got to, we got to ride on them. And them bitches going to be jet. You feel me? So the police can't snatch a nigga off that shit and, and take they shit, impound our shit or whatnot. Like, nah, man, I'm about to go register all them bitches to the business name. <laughs> Jason Javon, LLC. That bitch getting registered and shit. All the bikes getting registered. They can't take nobody. They can't snatch nobody off their shit. You got an ID, so they can't, nope. <laughs> yeah, they can't really snatch nobody off of that bitch for sure. Right. Like, nope. They talking about putting a helmet on. Cool. Everybody got a helmet. Bob, just slap that bitch on now. That's it. Like, no, because that's, that's why they be snatching these motherfuckers off their shit, because they shit not registered or whatnot. Like, that's why I always register my shit, though. Always. Hey, they must have been in church looking for me and see that I wasn't in church. They had to. They probably think something wrong. Like, yeah, I got to come see you tomorrow. No, they, um, oh, yeah, you I talked to the pastor, and I just, I told him, like, why I haven't been in church or whatnot. I just haven't been feeling like it. I just don't, I, I just haven't been feeling like going anywhere or whatnot. Like, then my ears be hurting and shit, or whatnot, so I just, <clears throat> I just haven't been feeling like it, so. I don't know, I'll go to church probably next Sunday, because I was thinking about going to church today, like, I woke up in time and everything, I just, I just didn't, I just didn't feel like going. Like, I really was not about to go anywhere today, but I was like, let me go do some fucking door dash and just, because it seems like I'm depressed, but I'm not. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You say it's like it, but you don't feel like you're depressed. The right. fact that you acting like you. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, let me go somewhere today. Let me go do some door dash if I got nowhere else to go. It's not even doing nothing. That's why I'm still just sitting here. <laughs> hey, God damn. You could have stayed at home. This is the shit that I be talking about. <laughs> shit. And I got a wee wag, but I'm not going to wee wag until the sun go down. No, no, no. He's not about to get me like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, I probably could like, do the backyard right now because there's shade in the backyard, but no. Mm mm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it when the sun go down, so I can just zip right through that shit. Cause I already cut, I already cut the grass. The grass got cut yesterday. So and I'm just like, uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like I just been feeling depressed, cause my grass has never been this high. Never. My grass is high as shit. It's never been this high. Like I just been like, oh, I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it tomorrow. I just keep pushing off for the next day, and the next day, and the next day, and then I'd be like. It has to get done. And I really got to force myself to do this shit or whatnot. So I had to force myself to pull that lawnmower out yesterday to cut the grass or whatnot. And then I was like, oh, well, how we wag tomorrow? So that's today. So I have to we wag. 
I'm gonna make myself wee whack, even if I get to that point and be like, I don't feel like it, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna force myself to do it today. I'm almost done. I'm almost there. <laughs> I found this camping spot. That shit look hard as you should see the Airbnb out there. Where that shit at? That shit gotta be. <laughs> yeah, that shit gotta be up north. It huh. is. It's up north. It's like right by Traverse City and shit. Um, I've been to Traverse City so many times. It's crazy. But uh, it's just that it's, it's close. The high, the high is it up there? The high look at you. It looks nice. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I wouldn't mind nice getting the cabin because I always there. wanted the cabin. So I wouldn't mind buying a cabin out there or whatnot. And that'd just be my summer spot. Like, fuck everybody. <laughs> shit. Yeah. You know. That just, shit is out the way. Yeah. We ain't got to worry about no random papa. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> you talking about no random papa. Right. <laughs> shit. Man. Yeah, that shit, it's, it's nice out there. Like, I wouldn't mind it, like, especially if you got a family. That's just somewhere nice. You know, you take your kids. Because my mom always did shit with us when we was kids and shit. You feel me? So, like, <clears throat> that's the shit that you're going to want to do with your kids. And then, some, and, and then more. You feel me? So, it's like, my mama never took us on a cruise. She didn't get to that yet. You feel me? She never got a chance to take us on a cruise and shit when we was kids. So, now it's like, okay, well, I want to do everything that my mama did with me as a kid. You feel me? Or whatnot. And I get to take my kids on a cruise and shit, you feel me? But I don't have any kids anymore, thanks to Neil. You <laughs> shit. And it's crazy, too, because I had... I was going to ask my mama if she could put a thousand... That's a Corvette. Oh, that, I'm telling you, Corvettes, man, them bitches is hard. They look too much like a Lamborghini. But, yeah, them bitches are. Man, for real, and they got this motherfucking orange one. I don't give a fuck what color it is. That bitch is hard. Shit. But, um... I was gonna ask my mama. <laughs> see that little boy. <laughs> I was gonna ask my mama if she could put a thousand with the money I had put away for Casey, and then hit up my brothers to see if they can scrape up another thousand and shit, so he can have ten thousand, <clears throat> so he can have for uh, graduation, cause you know he going away for college and shit. So, yeah, I was, uh, cause I only got eight thousand for him, but it's. It, Shit, it's fuck me, so it's, I have no choice but to say fuck them back. Like, shit, that's how they feel about me, so shit. Uh, all right, well, shit, ditto. <laughs> okay, I keep my motherfucking money. Just like I said, okay, you want to snap and go crazy or whatnot? So that means I ain't got to come to GG birthday party, right? I can't come to that, right? Like, my, my invitation is canceled. It's X out, right? 